Hi, everybody. Welcome to episode 52 of Round the Twist. It is August 11th, 2010, and it's our one-year anniversary. And, oh, on the one-year anniversary, we are having to resort to bribes to get Phoebe to make a guest appearance, and she is not happy about it. Hang on. Hang on. Hey, Phoebe. Okay. Getting down first, and then she gets her chip. There you go. Go on. Can I get chip? There you go. Okay. There's your Phoebe fix, probably for the rest of the year. Ow. I think I got scratched. Okay. Anyway, welcome to the one-year anniversary, everybody. Uh, wow. A year. <laughs> Who would have thought? Wow. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, first, let's start as we've been starting for the last year. With what's on my needles. Uh, dig down into the pit over here. I started the second Eunice sock. Finally, I know. Takes forever, doesn't it, to get stuff done around here. Second one is done. I am through the ribbing. And the first repeat, I am like four rows into the second repeat. But yay, there's the first one. For those of you that have forgot, there's the second one, beginnings. Uh, it is the Volmiza. We're hundred uh, percent in the we're different version of the pesto colorway, and that's getting knit up on my US twos, the 2.75 millimeter signature VPNs. So those are coming along. That's been my work knitting the last few nights when it hasn't been crazy busy. Um, the log cabin blankie is getting bigger. <laughs> there we go. I, I can't stretch it out across the needle anymore because the needle's too short, but it's it's getting there. Um, I think I'm just finishing up. I am on the seventh stripe, the last stripe of the seventh stripe around. I think I'm going to do eight, and then I'm going to put a border in one of the neutral colors, probably the fedora, the dark uh, brown around the edge. And this is the Knit Picks Comfy Sport in, oh, I don't even know all the colorway names. Goodness, since it came as a kit in the New Traditions Baby Blanket kit that I have since repurposed for the log cabin, knitting up on US 5s, the 3.75 millimeter uh, Knit Picks interchangeables that I have. Uh, but yeah, that's coming along, which is good because my coworker that this is for is coming back from maternity leave next week, and I will actually see her the following week, so that should be done in time. Uh, and if not, it's not like the kid's going to outgrow a blanket. Um, the other thing that I have on the needles, let me pick around over here through the pile, just on the needles, um, when I was done spinning the bit of fiber that I brought with me to my Stitch and Bitch tonight, uh, at Whole Foods, where my guild meets on Wednesdays, I had brought along this ball of, uh, it's the Chopa Wool Zauber Ball Crazy, which is the two-ply, with that uh, gradual color shift through it. Um, I've knit with one of these before. Uh, when I, I think that on one of the very first shows, I talked about knitting art, uh, an elderly guy in my hometown, Art a pair of socks. My mom knit his wife Helen a pair of socks. I knit arts out of the Zauber ball in the pinstripes colorway from the Loopy U. Um, and I had knitted up on twos over 64 stitches, and the fabric just seemed really thin to me. I and thin and holy, and I didn't like it. But I know art's not going to be doing a whole lot of walking except around the house in those socks or wearing them as bed socks. So I wasn't too concerned, but these I'm knitting up. In fact, I just got them cast on. That was all I did while I was at uh, knitting tonight. But I'm knitting them on the US ones, the 2.25 millimeter needles, and I'm doing them over 72 stitches, hopefully to get a little bit tighter gauge for myself. I think I'm going to use the Hermione's Everyday Sock Pattern again. I know. I. Once I find a sock pattern that I like, I use it over and over and over again until I get sick of it. And I'm not sick of that one yet. Or I've been interspersing it with other stuff, so I'm not quite sick of it. But we'll see how this goes. I've had a couple of the ladies in my group, um, specifically Kara and um, Kathy, 
Oh my gosh, Kathy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> have knit with this and they have hated it. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. This is going to be my purse knitting, so it might be a while before they're done, but that will be coming along. And I have no idea what to call these socks, so I need a name for them if anyone wants to suggest one. The color, this colorway is, um, well, okay. Sorry, let me reach around all the stuff I have on the desk here. The colorway on the tag is Fleiderduft. Fleiderduft? I don't know how to, you pronounce it. It wouldn't translate in any of the translation things I could find online. Um, Bloopy U calls this colorway berries. So, I don't know. Name suggestions are welcome, like uh, my last socks for my green phase socks, but we'll see. We'll see. I might just call them my question mark socks. Who knows? Yeah. As you can tell, I haven't caffeinated enough, so let's see if my coffee's cool enough yet. Mm. Perfect. Apricot cream from San Marco Coffee. Fabulous. Uh, let's see. On the wheel, or almost off the wheel, is I finished the second bit of the Enchanted Null Farms uh, Superwash Merino in Sedona. So I just have one more third left to do and then I can ply and get this done and move on to something else. Yay. Uh, still spinning this on the B on the 27 and a half to one ratio and it's coming along. It's just, just like everything else in my life. Everything's just kind of moving slow right now. And you know what? Slow is good. Slow is okay. Um, let's see. Well, Phoebe's going to town on that rawhide I bribed her with. That's good. Keeps her out of my hair. Uh, but I've only been, since I got back from vacation, I've only been spinning when I'm at uh, Stitch and Vitch. So it's like two hours, one day a week I'm spinning. Maybe. And I really... This is why I like Tour de Fleece. I was able to spin. Even if I spun five minutes a day, I was getting something done. I need to go back to that. Um, just sit down with the wheel and spin, spin, spin. Not three, four, seven hours, whatever stretch that I used to do. Just sit down and spin a bit, and it would get done so much faster, and then I could move on. Because I tend to get sick of a colorway before I'm done spinning it. And then when I get done spinning it, I don't want to knit with it because I'm just sick of it for a while. So it goes in the stash room. Speaking of the stash room, um, yeah, I know a lot of people said in the comments, and thank you everybody for all the comments, um, they want to see the stash room. That's not going to happen until I get it painted and organized, because right now it's a pit. I went digging through it to get the prizes for the contest that we will talk about after the break, um, but yeah, it was more like digging through and going, oh, wow, I completely forgot about this. And I didn't even reach the entire depths of the stash. There's places I can't even get to in that room. But once it's once the weather cools off, because it's been about 80 billion degrees and heat indices and heat advisories and humidity like crazy, um, once it cools off and I can open up the house so I don't choke on paint fumes, uh, I'm going to yank everything out of that room, paint it, get it reorganized, and then hopefully we'll be able to move in there to record. Fingers crossed. Uh, and then I will give you a tour of the stash, but right now it's just, there's too much to go through. So on that note, I think we're going to break and we will, I will see you back in part two for the FO of the week and uh, contest winners and various other things. So I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> 